And with me right now is Eclipse Eli himself, and we're going to speak about mm -hmm. some fashion and what Eclipse had going on for the carnival season. Good morning and welcome. Thank you. What are you doing, well, brother? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. So, um, where has it that you have been outfitting like a number of the artists for the yeah. carnival season, yeah. um, first, second, and third of the groovy, um, we in, in as well as some other um, artists okay, as well. Yes. So, tell me about the about your experience during carnival mm -hmm. and, and then we'll go on into the creative process. Well, the, the thing about fashion and carnival is really important, you know, because um, an artist is supposed to make a statement on and off stage. Right. And, um, you know, um, I'm the one who will really help you with that. And right, right, yeah, right. So, so I had a good carnival season. I worked with a number of different artists. Um, so, as I mentioned, well, Swafi, congratulations to Swafi. He came right, to yes, the Groovy yes, Soka yes, Monarch. Yes. And then we had Tedeston John from St. Lucia and Vaughn from Grenada. And I have a number of different artists that I work with uh, for the season. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, um, I've had the pleasure of, of wearing your stuff here on the show as well, you yes. know. So um, big thank you for that. Yes, and um, I know that, you know, a lot of work goes into what you're doing. So how is it that you tailor the, the style to the individual? How would you go about doing that? Well, the thing about it is it's all about creation. And it's not about me, it's about the artist. Right. Yes, I'm a designer. Yes, I have a brand. Um, it starts with a simple conversation. So I might just have a simple conversation with the artist. Right. I'll start to listen to music more, do a little research, see the history, find out what type of market they're appealing to. And then um, I, I will dress to suit the, the profile and, and the message that they want to convey. To, to put across. Yeah, right, because right, right. every artist, because a lot of times people, for the carnival season, I outfitted about 15 artists and all. Wow. Yeah. And people ask, how come you're so consistent? with having each artist looking unique and, and maintaining the, 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 the personality. Yeah, that's right, because yeah. you know when, when you look at each one of these guys, they didn't yeah. look like they were dressed in the same way. Yeah. You know, they all had their own unique style, yeah. their own um, aura about yes. them almost, yes. you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it goes to show that um, the work you've been doing is, is very, very tailored to the individual, Correct. you know. Uh, yes. I, I like using that word tailored. Yes. And we see some <laughs> footage over here of the actual fitting process that we're doing over there right now. Yeah, so that was um, Swappy just before he hit the stage for um, for the Groovy Soka Monarch. So he was just, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, obviously, you know, what is that? Gold <laughs> flames? Yeah, gold flames. Yeah. And I guess the goal is very befitting because, yeah. um, you know, he's the champ right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> what, what uh, you know, so what happened there, Swappy, you know, what I try to do is um, create what the, what the artists have in their mind. See, Cliff, right. you know, I really love Shadow. Um, he was an inspiration to me, and I want to I want to look like Shadow, but I want to add my a little bit of my personality. So that's right. where I see the gold flames coming up because Swafi. What I like about him as an artist, um, he take risk when dressing. Right. Where other people are a little shy, he, he yeah. full fashion. He take his risk, and I really appreciate working with him for that. Yeah, definitely a yeah. little. Um, some people, as you said, um, they look conservative. Yes. But um, he he just goes all out, and he has the um, the. The vibe to just go bright and yeah. go big and you know again go big or go home. Yeah, I know that's <laughs> definitely something you could um you could that you know that relates to to the things that you do. Yes, yes. You know, like yes. go all the way or or not at all. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're looking at super blue right now, and of course it must be blue. Well, everything had to be blue, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I eventually um got him to wear some white. So, but this this outfit I did for him um I think yeah this was for Army Fet. I yeah. did this for Army Fet and um. I had to make it, put it on the mannequin, and right. bring him to the workshop to see it on the mannequin, because you know he ain't blue or nothing. <laughs> right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so he yes, fell in love with it, and, and he and, and he couldn't wait to use it on Army Fet. I know. Um, yeah. He said Army Fet there, and this has uh, a little bit of a militaristic feel to it, yes. like almost like parade wear. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this song Ragstorm, um, in, in, the, in the lyrics for the song, um, the the look that I went for Super Blue for for 2019 was a kind of 1800. French militant, but yet still um, um, royal look. Right. So if you look at some of the pieces that did for me earlier, in, in the earlier fat something that he did, you will you will see that in it that, that consistency. And even mentioned he mentioned where Trinidad Carnival started in the eighteen hundreds from the French and all that. So I incorporate right. all that into his design. So that yes, was his man. personality and his look for the carnival. And then he translated that into the design. Correct. Yeah. And stuff. So you know, yeah. as they say now, carnival is a year round thing. Like you know, we just came out of carnival itself, but there's a lot of back work that happens leading into the following year of carnival. Yeah. What's next week, Lefi? Like? Well, at the moment, um, we are not construction. We're opening a. A retail store at C3 Shopping Center really? in San Fernando. In Southlands, yeah. well, I don't have to come so far to yeah. get some um, good stylings, yeah. man. <laughs> so in May, we'll be um, opening our store. 
Um, what is different about this store is normally to get a suit, you'd have to get customized or tailored. At this store in San Fernando, at C3 Shopping Center, you'll be able to come in, fit it, and you can be able to purchase suits of the hanger. Really? I'll also be launching my line of footwear. You can feel like shoes. You can feel like um, shopping bags for men. Um, sorry, luggages, like right. um, luggage, like yeah, traveling bags. Traveling, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you can feel like wallet. So it'll be a fully branded you can feel like store. And it's something definitely to look forward to. Oh, yeah. I am definitely going to look forward to that. You know, um, again, I'm a big fan of your work and the things that you mm -hmm. do. And, oh, gosh, the, the, the fit itself speaks for itself. Yes. So, Ecliff Eli, thanks again for joining us you're this welcome. morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and, of course, wish you the best moving forward with everything that you're doing. Yeah, thank you.